Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Demetrius here again from Herbie Pixel. Today I want to talk about something quite serious with regards to information security and cyber security. And I'm talking on behalf of my InfoSec company, which is OBSec. What we've witnessed around the world today is pretty impressive in terms of how harsh and how dangerous it is to trust companies that really should be better than what we expect in terms of having cyber security tools and analytics tools implemented in our systems. What's happened today has been quite remarkable. In the last 12 hours, what we've seen is the company CrowdStrike, which by the way, I've used CrowdStrike systems for a long time and I've always been impressed by them. What we've seen in the last 12 hours has been quite remarkable and not unsurprising, but really surprising from the aspect of the CEO of CrowdStrike, George Kurtz, and just his absolute gaslighting of the public. Right, before we continue on with this and talk about this attack, let me give you an understanding of CrowdStrike and what it really is supposed to do. CrowdStrike will provide a number of things for companies. It's a software application you install on your systems, in this case, Microsoft machines, that are affected, and it does endpoint protection, threat analytics, incident handling, and it, it, it's pretty much well recognized around the world. Now, when it comes to endpoint protection, what it means is it's going to analyze all, the, in, all the, the traffic coming into systems, and it's going to use artificial intelligence and machine learning to detect and prevent breaches, activity like breaches and, 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 and attacks and so on in real time, in real time. Okay, and it focuses on preventing malware and ransomware and other types of cyber attacks. But what it doesn't do very effectively, as we've seen today, it doesn't handle very well when it comes to self-inflicted distributed denial of service. A distributed denial of service means a denial of service systems failing, but in a massive scale. It also should do threat intelligence. And the idea is that it provides advanced intelligence services, collecting all this data and analyzing all the data from various sources and lots of organizations. And it can anticipate and can learn from these cyber threats, but of course, not from internal threats, okay? And with incident response, well, CrowdStrike offers very, very good incident response services, and they have been amazing. They've been great. And it helps organizations respond and recover relatively quickly from these cyber attacks. I mean, the team is pretty good. They've had experts for years. But here's the problem. CrowdStrike, you have failed in every single one of those aspects today. Every single one of them. You made a small update to one of your applications and you, you know, created an update which then automatically goes and updates systems around the world, Microsoft systems globally across millions of systems in hundreds and hundreds of different sectors around the world. And now when that update is incorrect because you're cloud native, cloud based and you're doing things remotely, now that those systems have been bricked up and you cannot use them, you can't even boot them because they're going into a loop system and they cannot be automatically rebooted and fixed remotely because you cannot access them. None of the files are loading, none of the hardware is kicking in, none of the, the, the kernels are loading, none of the actual device drivers are loading, none of the system drive files are loading, none of the API hooks are loading, none of the programs are loading because it's gone into a blue screen of death, a full-blown denial of service. You cannot actually fix these things remotely, you bunch of morons. So whoever decided to do these updates and release the updates at CrowdStrike, first of all, you should be fired. Second of all, George Kurtz, please stop gaslighting the world. This is not a small problem. You can't expect people and companies around the world to fix this remotely. And let me get to that, okay? And second of all, you don't release an update to software unless it's been tested for weeks and weeks and weeks before you release something that should be tested across the board, across multiple locations in systems that are not in live and production type systems, but not live. What are you guys doing CrowdStrike? This is a massive oversight, massive, massive oversight. You know, the Falcon software installed on these Windows systems. It should have picked up these kind of problems. You know, detection logic update caused the software to consume 100% of the cores of a system, 100% of the CPU cores. 
and forcing it to fail and not be able to boot up, leading into massive problems around the world. Massive crashes, airports, traffic control systems, transportation systems, medical locations, pharmaceutical companies, hospitals, businesses around the world, social media companies, content management companies. You're talking about a serious distributed denial of service here, George Kurtz. What have you done, CrowdStrike? What have you done? And then, of course, you, the company's rolled back the faulty update and is working to the, with the affected customers to resolve the situation. What an absolute load of nonsense. Let me show you. Look at the world and what's happening today. It's on fire. Systems are falling apart. And what does the company CrowdStrike do? Oh, let's release four basic instructions on their portal, the company portal, their website. Uh, there's a couple of other updates and whatever that you got to do. But oh, you got to go and you got to go into that system, navigate there locally, go into that folder, jump in there, take out a system file or device driver, which is usually hidden away and delete it. And God knows if you delete the wrong file and then boot the host as normal. What a load of bollocks, as we say in England and the UK. George Kurtz, are you out of your effing mind? You can't just give instructions like this unless they have very well prepared instructions and you know they're going to work everywhere. I mean, look at what's going on here. Look at this. Windows outage. Look at this. Companies around the world. Airports failing. Transportation systems failing. Look at this. All over the place. All over the place. Stock exchange. This is what CrowdStrike is all about. You're one of those large conglomerates, $84 billion value company. And then what do you do? You're only concerned about your shareholders. Congratulations, shareholders. You have funded illegal activity. So you've paid for this cyber attack. Yes, it is a cyber attack. It's a self-inflicted distributed denial of service. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a cybersecurity professional. I teach cyber courses, both for EC Council, SANS, and many other companies. I've been doing this as a consultant in the field, protecting companies and teaching students around the world for 37 years. This is very serious. And when you have a company that's only concentrating about shares and portfolio, and you see them only concentrating on that and making profits and making money, and then voila, a simple fix of a problem, a little... Uh, not even a fix, a simple mistake in the updates on their software can cause the world to collapse when it comes to systems. That just shows you how terribly badly managed the teams are at CrowdStrike because it's fascinating. It shouldn't be this case because CrowdStrike's always been a great company. They've always had great software. I use them. But hey, look at this, 38 points down. Only 11% down. Of course, we can't have the shareholders going down too much. We can't have the stocks going down. We've got to prop the stocks up because God forbid, you know, we lose all the shareholders. Yes, again, shareholders, you've just paid for all these companies around the world to fail. Congratulations. Congratulations. And you know what the worst is? Let me let me tell you what the worst is. Let me Let me show you what the worst is. Let's pop my face on here because you got to see expression here. Let's go to Twitter or X. Okay. Look at this kind of thing happening. Look at this kind of thing happening. Systems failing around the world. Do this. Systems failing around the world. Stock exchange systems, airline systems, transportation systems failing around the world. All over the place. Banners, systems failure. Companies like airlines having to issue tickets by hand. Are you are you crazy? CrowdStrike having to force companies to do this. What happens if we now don't really we're not, we're not we don't have the systems. We can't track who's going on to the actual plane. We don't know who's flying. What happens if somebody like a terrorist jumps onto a plane and causes mayhem? Do you see what you've caused? CrowdStrike, this can cause people dying. And what does the crowd strike George Kurtz tell the world? 
gaslighting everyone. CrowdStrike is actively working with customers that are impacted by a defect found in a single content update for Windows hosts, which doesn't actually indicate that they effed up. They're trying to pass the buck to Microsoft. Please, CrowdStrike, what the heff? You wrote code badly, you compiled it badly, which shouldn't have been compiled in the first place, and you didn't do all your necessary testing, which should be done for weeks and weeks and weeks before something gets launched, especially if it's a global update. And you approved that, Mr. George Kurtz, because you're accountable for the company. You're a chief executive officer. You should know everything about your company. And if not, you should be fired. A chief executive officer should have every single possible conceivable understanding of the company at all times. That's why you get paid the big bucks. But no one's going to give a damn about taking away your salary, eh? You should take your salary and go and give it to every single company now that has to go and pay to fix this problem. This is not a security incident or cyber attack. Oh, come on. Stop gaslighting, George Kurtz. Seriously, man. This is 100% a security cyber incident. It's a self-inflicted distributed denial of service. You know, when I teach my students cyber courses, especially things like ethical hacker courses and forensic courses, distributed denial of service and denial of service holds the highest prosecution in the world when it comes to fines and jail term. And it also is the easiest attack to do. And it is, whether it's self-inflicted or whether it's done purposefully by hackers, it is a cyber attack. So start, stop effing gaslighting us. You are making people who are trained in IT and in security to not like you as a company, CrowdStrike. Stop gaslighting us. Right, we know the difference. The issues have been identified and a fix has been deployed. What fix, you morons? What fix? Let's look at the other side of the problem because it's not just CrowdStrike that has this problem. It's also all the idiotic companies around the world and the CEOs of those companies that have implemented or have approved CrowdStrike to be implemented in their systems. And they've got, for the last three years, got rid of IT staff because AI machine learning, let's get rid of AI, uh, let's get rid of uh, uh, trained professionals, hardworking people who can fix these things very quickly. Let's get rid of them. And let's automate everything so we can have better bottom line. We can have better happiness with our shareholders and make more profits. Good luck. Because now you can't have this fix remotely done. It cannot be done remotely. You're going to have to do it locally. You're going to have to have boots on the ground to go and fix this. Good luck trying to hire people now to go and fix the problem for yourself, the conf considering you've let go of people, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of IT professionals. This is not just a CrowdStrike problem. This is a company-wide problem. You absolute morons and buffoons. Every time you let go of people in a company, you get weaker and weaker inside a company. This is a massive attack around the world. Self-inflicted distributed denial of service. Guess what, though? It was a mistake and an oversight when it comes to risk analysis, risk management, and just zero testing from CrowdStrike. But it was a mistake from a company that you trust and you pay money to for the service. It's not even a hack attack. Can you imagine what hackers could do to your systems when they know you don't have the right IT staff to fix them? You've fired most of them. You're, out, you're outsourcing all your security out to companies like CrowdStrike and many other companies. And you're assuming that systems will be up and running really quickly if an attack comes through, which is from hackers. Are you out of your effing minds? Congratulations. Welcome to the world of IT security and IT training. You need boots on the ground. You need IT people in the companies, not outsourced out to other nonsense companies and nonsense software. And if you do outsource to companies like CrowdStrike, you mustn't let go of your staff because you're going to need them when you're going to need them. And that's, believe me, a very important time. There are hospitals that cannot produce the right dispensing of, of medications and all that. There are also hospitals that are, cannot do their surgeries. People waiting in line for very life-threatening critical surgeries. There are pharmaceutical companies that can't dispense medications. There are transport companies that can't transport people around and companies around. There are airlines that cannot fly people who've waited most of the year to actually save money to go on their holidays and you've ruined their effing holidays. 
There are so many companies around the world that are going to have this problem. And you're just sitting there all happily merry-go-long, gaslighting the crap out of the companies in the world. And then you go and you say, we further recommend organizations to ensure communications with CrowdStrike representatives. You don't have the ability to cover the planet. You don't have boots on the ground, CrowdStrike. Stop gaslighting. Our teams are fully mobilized to ensure security and stability in CrowdStrike customers, please. You won't even be able to pick up all the random cases around the world, CrowdStrike. George Kurtz, you're a bad CEO. You should be fired. And all the shareholders in the company, all these shareholders, where are the shareholders? All you wonderful shareholders that have only allowed 11% drop, feel it, feel it. Because not only, not only have you funded this illegal activity and this major risk, and risk analysis going wrong, this risk oversight, but it, it's a real threat. Not only have you funded it, but you're also riding the coattails, assuming that this stock is going gonna, is gonna to stay where it is. Competitors are going to come along and take your business, CrowdStrike. That's the first thing that's going to happen. Second thing is companies are not going to trust you anymore. Third thing is IT professionals are not going to want to use your software. Fourth, all your other companies around the world that have actually fired all the IT staff that you've had all these years, hard-trained, well-skilled IT professionals, to replace them with AI, machine learning, automation, and outsourcing companies and outsourcing software. Don't get me wrong. I am a big proponent of artificial intelligence, machine learning, but there, it has a place and time to be used. But when it comes to boots on the ground and people actually doing the work, it needs to be humans. So you have effed up royally here. Far worse than CrowdStrike. Because now what are you going to do? You're going to have to get people on the ground to go and fix this. Good luck trying to hire the IT staff back again to go and fix it. Good luck. You may have this distributed denial of services happening for weeks at the rate you've done this. You're idiots, absolute idiots. Sorry everyone for my rant, but this is a particularly bad situation because I have friends that are stuck at airports. I have colleagues that cannot function. I have people that are stuck trying to fix problems. They just have no idea of how to fix because they're not trained. I have huge amount of friends and colleagues in the IT industry and security industry that have been fired or let go because, oh, automation, because shareholders want to make more profits and now have left the industry and now what is going to happen? They were the God. Now what's going to happen? These companies are in big trouble. And this is not even an actual attack from a hacker or a hacker group. This is a self-inflicted major, 10 out of 10, major, major attack or cyber attack or even incident from CrowdStrike, which has led to the perfect storm, an attack on both fronts, an attack from the software that's protecting you and the actual idiotic companies that have fired all the RT stuff and basically relying on that software. You got, you, it's the perfect storm. Can you imagine if this was an actual targeted, coordinated attack across the world by hacker groups working together? You wouldn't just have just millions of machines going down. You wouldn't just have Microsoft systems going down. You would have Microsoft Linux and Mac systems going down. You would have a massive attack which would never recover from. So wake up, companies. Wake up, all the CEOs of the companies. Wake up, you bunch of morons. Stop being idiotic and, tra and stop chasing just profits. And George Kurtz, please, stop pulling the wool over people's eyes. You're a terrible CEO. You should be fired for just the gaslighting alone. And you shareholders and stakeholders that have shares inside CrowdStrike, you better be thinking twice about who you're investing with. You need to pull out a full audit out of this because you're going to lose a lot of money today. And you better do an audit. If you don't do an audit, you are definitely complicit in this whole thing. Sorry, everyone, for this rant, but it's very serious and it's very dear to my heart because I'm an IT security professional. I don't like to see trash like this. I don't like to see nonsense like this. And I feel, I feel for all of you out there who are professionals, who've lost your jobs. I feel for companies who don't have the right staff now to go and fix these problems. I feel for all these companies that haven't got the ability to get their medications and get their holidays and get all the stuff that you cannot get access to. I feel for you because this was definitely a long time coming and it's, it's such a shame that it happened but l luckily this is not a full-blown coordinated attack by hackers luckily this is self-inflicted and we have one group of type of people to blame and that's managers directors and ceos not the hacker groups 
Let's see if we can figure out a solution out of this. I feel sorry for everyone that's been disadvantaged out of this. I hope you all get up and running very quickly. I'm just very glad I'm a Mac and Linux user and I don't have to suffer these things all the time. And uh, that's the end of my rave. Thank you everyone for following me. Thank you all my subscribers. My apologies for being so serious and rude and being angry and shouting. I don't mean to do that. It's just that I take this very seriously. This is what I do for a living. It's my career. And I don't like to see absolute turds in the industry trying to think that they can pull the wool over our eyes because they can't. I've been in this industry longer than these idiots have been directors and CEOs. And for those of you who are IT teams and developers inside CrowdStrike, what a mistake, guys. Come on, man. You can do better than this. You guys can do serious testing and implementation afterwards. And in every single company around the world, what the heck are you doing letting go of people around the world? You're just making yourself weaker and weaker and weaker. And eventually you're going to get hacked anyway. I mean, that's just inevitable. It's what hackers love. They know it's coming. <laughs> My name's Demetrius from OB Pixel today and my brand for security, OB Sec. I'm signing out.